The distillation curve analysis can be made inside of any stream here in Pro Max. To illustrate that, I have a crude fractionation and vacuum tower here. I'm going to open up my distillate stream. Here on the Analysis tab, I'll choose Add Analysis. And I'm going to choose this distillation curves analysis. When I click OK, we'll see the different options that we have available. First off, we can choose which phase we want to create these curves on. Generally, that's going to be your total phase but you could break that down to just the light liquid if you wanted. Number of steps is going to be how many data points you take along the way. And so if you want boiling points from 0% to 100% in increments of 5%, we can change this to 21 steps. 11 steps would be every 10%. Down here below, you'll see the different curves that we can generate. So we have a TBP curve, ASTM D86, and D1160. D2887 and then the EFV here at the bottom. Each of these have a standard pressure that they're taken at. And so for all the tests except for the D1160, the standard pressure is one atmosphere or 760 millimeters of mercury. For the D1160, the standard pressure is 10 millimeters of mercury and those pressures can't be changed except for the TBP curve. We can change our standard pressure, the pressure that we want to take this curve at, and so you could type a value in here if you wanted to. We also have a minimum normal boiling point threshold. So what that's going to do is if we were to type in a temperature, Promax will ignore any component with a normal boiling point below that temperature we've typed in. And so that could give you a way to ignore any potential light ends or anything that you had in your stream. Similarly, this minimum mole fraction threshold would allow us to ignore any component that makes up a very, very small portion of our feed. And so by default, anything below 0.01% will be ignored. This analysis, like many analysis, has a components tab where you can choose which components are going to be included. The default is by a dry basis, and that's what we're going to stick with. If I click the Solve button, let's go ahead and take a look at the plots it made. We'll see I have my TBP curve, as well as my ASTM D86 curves that have been generated. And if I go to the tables, we'll see that information written out in table form as well. You can see this has taken points at every 5%. Okay. And so this is what the distillation curve analysis will do for you.